What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. D-Dub here and a welcome back to Stardew Valley. Today is an exciting day in that it is the, uh, what's it called? The, um, uh, the, the Stardew Valley Fair. That's today, which is really exciting. I'm also realizing that I, I made a goof. Um, I'm pretty sure I said that I was going to go buy some seeds soon, uh, and make sure I had enough for everything. Actually, no, wait, no, we're good. We're good. We're good, guys. Don't don't worry about it. So, bok choy uh, words. I can't buy seeds today because it's the fair, and then I can't buy seeds tomorrow because tomorrow's Wednesday. But I don't think that'll matter. Also, have I said this before? But I I love the color of these eggplants. I don't know why. They're they're a little bit darker, or maybe this is vanilla. I don't even know. I've modded so much stuff. I'm I don't think it's actually the exact number, but. When you load up Smappy, it tells you how many mods you're loading in with. It says I have 141, and um, that that's a lot. That's that's a lot of mods. Um, I'm gonna stash manually as much as that pains me to do so, because of all the goodies that we have on us. And I also need to decide the last item. I asked uh, in the comment of last episode, or in a pinned comment on last episode, what should be the last item I bring? Because we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and we need a ninth item to round that out. And I got quite a few suggestions from cooking something, to foraging something, to adding another fish, to... There are a lot of suggestions, and they were all great suggestions, so I appreciate that, guys. I think I'm going to add some foraging, though. Not that I need any more variety, according to people. Um, who was it? I think his name was Bit in the comments, was really breaking it down by the, the science of it um, and like basically the best quality item that you have that the base item so with no quality has a sell value of at least a hundred gold will give you the I don't know it's a it's a whole thing and I, I don't know how it all works but I think I'm gonna do a fish an iridium quality fish maybe you know what screw it it doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna be fine. Let's get um, an iridium quality, not an iridium, a gold quality chanterelle, just to mix it up. Uh, do we need to? No. Do I care that much? Also, no, not really. So that'll be fine. I do need to still take care of my animals though today, which I almost forgot to do. Yes, yesterday, last time, I think. Oh, and then guys, tomorrow. I think tomorrow is gonna be an exciting day, and that. I, I think I'm going to finally get a house upgrade. Is that an egg hiding behind the chest? I almost missed that. There's eggs sometimes that I'll find in like places that are tucked in the corners and stuff in some playthroughs that I do. And I don't know how long they've been sitting there for, but <laughs> it's like, um, I, I don't know how long I've been missing out on that profit, but it's been a while. And is this pulling exactly the number of animals we have or the vacant spots we have? Because either way... That worked out perfectly, so I'm I'm not opposed. I also like how there's a picture of a chicken in the chicken coop back there. I don't know if you guys saw that it's by the uh, the incubator, which is beautiful. Come on, cows, come out and play. I, I can't wait to properly finalize my whole animal area. This area works definitely, and it doesn't look bad. It's just there's a lot that could be done to make it better. So, okay. The fair has begun in the square. That's exciting. I don't know what else we're going to have time to do today. Um, actually, we'll have plenty of time because of that uh, festival end time tweak mod, which will make us be done with the festival at like 2-ish, I think. But that's going to be so much nicer than 10 p.m., which is just absolutely ridiculous. So, okay, let's sell that. Did I have cheese? Ah, I did. It's just hiding right there. Okay, and then we have the wood, and then I just need an additional three grand, which I think we can do. I know we've been doing a lot of fishing, um, and that's because we've been doing... Actually, hold on. Where are we at? Hold on. Did I just see... We can do the salmon bundle as well. We're going to do that. And tuna... I thought I did this last time. I thought I went through this chest and pulled everything that could be donated. Maybe I missed some. I don't know. 
Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Um, oh crap. Let me go put this away real quick. Okay. That's that. I don't know why I'm so bad at putting my milk pail back, but I'm really bad at putting my milk pail back. It's a thing I fail at pretty consistently. Maybe I should have like... And no, if I had more milk pails, then I'd just end up with milk pails everywhere because I'd get lazy and stash them and... Ah, <sighs> welcome to the Stardew Valley Fair, guys. I don't know what it is about this festival that just makes me happy. Is that an egg up there? No, it looks like an egg from here, but... Well, Doc, it's the big day. Our most important festival of the year, the Stardew Valley Fair. If you'd like to participate by setting up a grain display, I've left an empty stand for you. Just let me know after you've set everything up so we can get to the judging. Wow, he's so judgy. <laughs> Oh, fun little, um, fun little side story here. I'm on the red arrow. Oh. What the heck? That is 100% the red arrow, guys. Well, I guess I'm not doing this minigame. That's so ridiculous. Okay, well... Um, I don't know if I've told this story before, but... Hi, Penny. How are you? I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row, and now the man won't let me play anymore. <laughs> Can you share some of that luck with me? Okay, so the story time. Um, I grinded out the 2,000... Uh... Hold... Wait, where do I... Is this festival different? No. I swear this is usually up here... Am I losing my mind? I might be losing my mind. But anyway, the star drop, that's 2,000. Oh my gosh, look at that rare crow. That's beautiful. The 2,000 uh, point star drop, I, I grinded out via, I think, the fishing mini game, Like, literally for all 2,000, because I gave up on this uh, little wheel thing. And uh, and then I did the Grange display, and then I won 1,000 points, because I, I got first, and... It was a really awkward moment, because then I had a thousand points that I couldn't use for anything. So, that kind of sucked. A lot. But, it was still fun fishing for like an hour straight. He said incredibly sarcastically. You know, I would have made a pretty good clown. I think I missed my calling. Quit clowning around, Emily. You would have been not not great as a clown. Although, you wouldn't have to dye your hair. So, it'd be, it'd be great. He doesn't look very happy. I guess Mary Lewis had to cut costs with a budget clown this year. Okay, I don't I don't know if I'm going to talk to everyone. I normally do, but for whatever reason today, I, I may or may not. But okay, this is, this is a beautiful thing. And I don't know why, but I always somewhat color coordinate stuff. I, like I try to balance the colors out. Is that weird? Maybe. Oh, you know what? Let's do oranges on the tops, purples on the side, and then the pink cake in the middle. I don't know why I do that, but I do. And that's a beautifully clipped Grange display. What the heck? Why does that look so bad? Okay. Modded festivals are a hot mess, apparently, because that, that doesn't work. I can't do the strength game. I can't make my Grange display look not crap. Well, maybe the judges will give me bonus points for the massive cheese wheel. I, I hope that's the case, Marnie. I hope that's the case. Are you setting up a Grange display, Doc? It's your chance to show off all of the good produce from Fifi. <laughs> Hearing our farm name pronounced out loud um, is kind of silly. I realize that. Fifi Farm. <laughs> it's so fun, though. All these animals are friendly and love to get massaged. I think pet is the word. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! I haven't pecked my little finger. I don't know why, but Charlie bit my finger um, memes are flooding my brain right now after that comment. Please know. And just a few steps over there, Gus is grilling up a batch of pork ribs. Yikes. I've got some soul searching to do. Yeah, a little bit. All right, I'm going to continue talking to everyone real quick. Um, I'll be right back. I, I, I want to see what kind of dialogue there is, because next year, I believe, because of some of the mods we have, we'll get some different dialogue. So I'm kind of curious. I'll see you in a sec. Whoa. What? I just got an achievement talking to Abigail. 
Hold on. Does that... I've heard rumors that you don't actually gain friendship talking with people at festivals. I just earned an achievement by talking to Abigail. I'm going to call shenanigans on that. Because I think we totally do. <laughs> Have you ever been to the fortune teller? She sets up her stand in the graveyard. I already saw her. She told me something interesting. <laughs> I can't do female giggles. That's just that's just weird. I'm sorry for that. I played the strength game too many times and now my arms feel like rubber. Bro, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, we're going to do a couple of mini games um, just so you guys can watch how bad I am with the slingshot game because it, it's pretty bad. Pierre is very serious about his Grange display. He's been setting aside the best looking produce for weeks in preparation. He doesn't have that much going on here. No, that's Harvey's. So even... Wait, I don't know. I, I still don't know where Pierre gets his stuff from. But this is a cool area of the festival. I don't know why. I never use it. There's not a whole lot up here. But it's still cool in that there's an actual, like, grill section to eat food. It makes sense because you totally see that at a festival like this. Eat as much as you like. It's all free today. Compliments of Mayor Lewis. Oh, make sure to dribble some of my secret sauce on there. Wait, where's the sauce? And I don't see any secret sauce. It's nowhere to be found. But, like I said, I'm going to continue talking to everyone. There's a couple people I have left to talk to. And then when we're done with that, we will play some games. Alright, I think that's everyone. I'm sure I missed someone somewhere, but... Oh well. We're going to do the slingshot game, because it's freaking fun. At least I think so. And then, after that, we'll set up our gray. We'll get our grange display judged. Okay, let's, let's see how crap I can not be at this. Hopefully not terrible. Oh. Talking through this is always so hard. I get really quiet when I do this stuff. And I apologize in advance. Because the focus it takes to miss everything is quite a lot. Woohoo! This part's always fun. I'm not great at it, clearly, but... Oh, one more! Oh, oh, yes! Look at that! There's there's that one more. Okay, great. Whew. Okay, yeah. This is definitely not the way to make uh, points. I think what I'm going to do is do the Grange display. Hopefully I get first, get that thousand, and then I'm going to bet it all. All 1,000 of it. Or maybe that's a bad idea and I do 500 twice. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking I'm going to do all of it. And it's going to be real real crap. I'm so sad I can't use this. I feel like the arrow is... Somewhere else. I think I'm going to try clicking on this from like everywhere. This is so sad. I like this. I wanted to be called an ox or a barbarian or... I earn a strength title. But I guess that's not happening. So... Okay, let's get our display judged real quick. Whew, I'm ready. Wait, I said yes. Okay, take your sweet time, Lewis. Don't worry, I got nowhere to be. Nowhere at all. Hookadok. I think this is a quality Grange display. Also, why don't we get to make a sign for ours? How are people going to know this is ours? I, I'm still really sad that that looks at, like it does. I, I don't know why. Modded festivals get broken so hard. Yeah, Marnie, I, I, I feel you there. Here goes nothing. Okay. Pierre. Pierre, tell me. Tell me the news, sir. Your Grange display has been judged harshly by Mayor Lewis. Return for the results. Woohoo! Congratulations! You won first place with a rating of 107. I don't know what that means, but we got first! Your prize is 1,000 star tokens. Spend them wisely. Oh, and don't forget to clean out your Grange display box. I'm going to do that right now because I always forget to do this step. And it's really bad because... Well, I don't feel like I need to explain why it's bad to leave all of that here. Including my star fruit. Okay, before we do that, 
before we do that, there's a fortune I want to get read. I don't think this has any bearing on anything, but we're going to do it anyway. Wellwick and I have known each other for a long time. She's a remarkable diviner and a good friend. Is that it? That clown. I know him from somewhere. Was it the School of Illusion? Or maybe the Carnival of Secrets? Mm. All right, Wellwick. Tell me my fortune. Ah, indeed. I see you in a room having a conversation with a lady. Oh, it's Pam. You seem to be close friends. Okay. Interesting. I see you and Penny working together on a farm. <gasps> That's exciting. You seem very pleased about something. <gasps> Is it the baby on the way that we don't have yet that we will eventually? Maybe? The crystal ball has moved on. Ah, you're in combat. There's something dreadful bearing down on you from the dark, but you seem more than ready to face it. Ah, the crystal ball has gone dim. That's all I can do for you, young one. Now, just keep in mind that the future isn't set in stone. Whatever I've told you today can still be changed if you set your heart on it. Farewell. Yeah, the talking to Pam part. If I can change that, just kidding. That's my future mother-in-law. Of course I gotta talk with her. Okay. Holy... Okay. I was like, don't tell me this is broken too. All right. I'm pretty sure green is the quote-unquote correct option. And to show how confident I am in that decision, we're going to bet a thousand. This is probably really dumb, but here goes nothing. Oh, please be green. If it's not, I'm going to I'm going to cry it's slightly. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm excited. I'm not doing that again. I don't need to. I literally just want... Well, actually, now that we've done that, I needed this. But now everything else is kind of expendable, right? I can just keep doing it and hope I get some more points. Found a star drop. Your mind is filled with thoughts of creativity. I don't remember why I chose that as my favorite thing, but okay. Thoughts of creativity. Cool. Okay, so now, ideally, we need 800 for a rare crow, 500 for a fedora, and I don't really care so much about dried sunflowers, but I'm going to keep um, just blowing um, my points here. Or maybe I'll do something else. To, I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, crap. Not orange. Green. Always green. And we're going to do all of them, and I'm just going to try to make some some points so I can buy some items. Whew. Wish me luck. All right. Um, it's like 10 seconds after I left you. I lost my very first one. I think that's a sign. I'm just going to wait and get that stuff next year because hopefully I'm in a better position financially and can just, if worse comes to worse, just buy my points. I, I don't think I'll do that. I'll probably just spend forever. That's not what I meant to do. Oh. Yeah, I think that we're fine. We got more energy. We have 338 now. I don't even remember what we had before, but... And now we can just stash things. Except my tuna. I want that back. Okay, give me one second to put all my inventory away, and then uh, we'll rejoin each other, and I don't know what we'll do, but we'll do it together. All right. That is taken care of, and I'm just restocking all this goodness. What the heck? That is so weird looking. It continues its animation after I picked it up. Ooh, and tomorrow will be wine day, which means we can sell it and make so much money. That's awesome. All right, though, we're going to make a trip real quick to the community center. I was putting away stuff, and I realized we've got some stuff that we can get rid of. Um, there's not a whole lot in here. Actually, there's like nothing in here. But uh, in our fall one, though, we've got quite a few things that we can donate. So we're going to head off and take care of some of those donations and it's gonna take me a while because yet again everything's donated in different places and I can never remember where that place is so instead of just dragging you along through all that we're just gonna get it donated and we'll see what we get as a reward hello community center I've missed you is that weird to say I don't think so you know what we should start doing 
Crab pots. I haven't done a single crab pot yet, and this is going to take some time to get five of each, and I'm pretty sure you need to do a crab pot in... Correct me if I'm wrong, three separate locations. One of these goes at the ocean to get some of this stuff. The other goes in town, and the other one goes in the forest? I think? Maybe? Perhaps? Holy crap. Yeah, this is the part where I can never remember what's what or where it goes what. Where goes what? What goes where? That's how we talk. Cool. So I'm going to figure out where to donate this, and then um, we'll see you in just a sec. Ooh... We're finishing a bundle. That's exciting. Oh, and guys, I, I made a huge miss misspeak. Oh my gosh, five kegs. Heck yes. That's so actually useful. I'll probably place those down and then fill them alongside uh, the rest of ours when we refill them tomorrow. I don't want to put anything in yet because I like them being all synced up together. But, oh my gosh. Okay, so the misspeak I made was that it doesn't really matter if I don't complete these year one. It kind of does, because the sooner we finish this, the sooner we get a greenhouse, which is going to just be game-changing. That's going to be so nice. Wait, we're unlocking another? Oh, the safe. Yeah, that's not happening. Although I do want to look at what it is, because it's probably either way more expensive, or it's gold plus, like, gold bars or something. I don't know, but... A more difficult vault? What's this going to be? 14,000, 4,000, 7,000, 35,000. Is that any different? I don't remember a 14,000. That seems odd, but... These numbers might be slightly off, but it's not that drastically different, so... And that's for the bus repair to get to the desert, which... Needs to happen, but... I don't know. Okay, sorry. Uh, I had a little thought there. I'm going to go through... Um, I don't know why I'm doing this now instead of at the community center, but I want to see what fall fish we still need left. Uh, and I think I'm going to spend a little time fishing this evening. I do want to sell some stuff. Oh, you can't tell. We do need more wood skips and sea cucumbers and walleye. So let's go fish in the... No, walleye's only if it's raining, right? No, walleye's all weathers. I don't know. Either way, we need to make a little bit more money because tomorrow we're going to go upgrade our house and I'm excited and also slightly terrified because like I mentioned last time, because of the mods I'm using, I have to turn one off and another on in order to... Basically, if I do it mid-episode, it's going to break things and I got I guess to fix that and I don't want to fix it on the fly, so... It should be fun, though. I'm excited I get an upgraded house, and that also means that whenever we do finally get it upgraded, we can ask Penny to marry us and move in with us, because she totally can't move into our tiny little bachelor shack that we have right now. So, anyway, I'm going to fish um, till probably way too late, uh, and then hopefully most of this stuff I can sell. That's kind of the goal, but if I happen to catch any fish that I need for bundles, then that's awesome as well. So, I'll be here fishing. And I will see you in a sec. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Uh, with the primary goal of that being to make a little bit of money. Why did I choose to go, of all places, to the mountain lake? The value of the fish here are kind of crap. <laughs> 93 for a chub. 187, that's not too bad. I mean, it's there's just better places to do that. Um, why am I up here? Hoping for easy access to forageables. Ooh, I could do a quick run of my farm. Although, I'm not worried about making money. We sold uh, two gold quality cheeses. I think three or four. Um, I think three. I just thought I saw a worm wiggle. Oh, no, it's that thing right there. I thought I saw a worm wiggling. Um, three or four gold quality mayonnaise. I think we'll be fine. And if not, we can run some stuff to... Uh, not Pierre, because Pierre will be closed. We can sell some stuff to Willy, I guess. Maybe. Is this going to break my game? What's happening? There we go. And maybe I start selling some mushrooms and stuff, too. I don't know. I got so much of excess of some things and then, like, nothing of others. And it's a, it's a nice little balancing act. But I want to get back to... I say get back to. We haven't been away for, from it for that long. But I'd like to get back to um, working on some stuff on the farm. I, I feel bad 
just playing the game. I know a lot of people are very much looking forward to seeing the farm layout when it's all done, and I am very much in that camp as well. I really want to see what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. It's going to be a minute till we get there. It's going to be a long minute, like a several year minute. Um, it's a pretty long minute, I realize that, but I just want to sell a few fish um, just to keep ourselves sustained. I think I've shared my, my strategy to how I do all this. Maybe. Kind of. Something. I don't know. I'm not going to redo it. So if I haven't, then too bad. All right. We'll drop all those in there. Beautiful. Let's go place our kegs down because I'm probably going to, I don't know, get distracted and forget or something. And this is perfect in that we can run these right here. I've got some trees to remove, but we'll do that in the morning or in the tomorrow because it's getting late and I don't have the time. So... Oh, and then we're going to get our house upgrade tomorrow. That's exciting. Or not actually get it, but start it tomorrow, which will be very exciting because I very much enjoy that. Having a house. Oh, and then we can start. Oh, man. That's, that's one more thing to decorate, guys. Sweet. That's enough. That covers it. But I get very much into home decor as well as farm decor eventually. It's going to look not so great for a little bit, little bit, just like the farm. It's all kind of the same. I'm trying to prioritize things that need to happen now and that will make me money and all that. Coleslaw? Cool. Or should I say coal? No? Probably not. Tomorrow's temperatures will be about the same. That's good to know. I like how the weather forecast adds in temperature. It's so cool. It makes sense because that's how life works. Did we make friends with Linus yesterday by talking to him once at a festival? Doc, how are you doing? I've enclosed some instructions on how to make one of my favorite fish recipes, sashimi. Dude, thank you, Linus. That's what, three hearts, I think? Mm, three hearts, yep, three hearts of the Linus. That happened by talking with him at the festival. That's crazy. But I need to, oh my gosh. The dwarf and Sandy make sense, but everyone else, I... <laughs> I need to up my game. I should be at least at three hearts with everyone by end of year one, I think. Oh, and Penny. We're almost at ten hearts, and then we can wife her up. That's so exciting. I feel like we didn't go to sleep. Like, it feels like it was nighttime, or like it is still nighttime. It's clearly not, but that's how it feels. Wait. Oh, I forget. I should do my row next in here. Pickled corn. How many row do I have? Quite a few, right? Uh, eight. Pufferfish row. And I know those can be, yeah, aged in a preserve jar to bring out more flavor. That sounds delectable. But one day we'll do that. But I'm going to go ahead and clear out these trees because they're very much in the way of five additional kegs here. Um, I don't know why I didn't just tack them onto the ends, but actually I do know why. The numbers wouldn't work out. If we had six kegs, then sure, because that'd be even. Or four kegs. But five? No. It's not going to fit. So I'm going to fix this. Okay, so I may have gotten slightly carried away and ended up clearing out the entire area that will be blacksmith area. Oops. <laughs> but we'll fill these up in four hours. Oh, that's exciting. That's going to be so much. Speaking of exciting, there's a train, which I don't even know if I'm going to care enough to go visit. I was slightly let down last time. It wasn't very entertaining of an event that happened. <laughs> entertaining. It was just a silly passenger train, which gives you nothing. And I don't even know if it's that worth it. Ooh, is this a duck egg? It's a duck egg. We can start making... Duck mayo. Ooh, look at this. The day we get duck eggs. We can fill all of these. And I did this by accident, too. If you guys remember, I made more than I needed to on accident. Or actually, not more than I needed to. I was meaning to make uh, cheese presses, and I think I made mayo machines instead. Or no. Was it the other way around? I think it might have been the other way around. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to finish taking care of my animals, sell things, and then uh, I think we're going to go visit... Robin and uh, get ourselves a little bit of an upgrade. All right, with wood in hand. <laughs> um, it, it's literally in my th this this wood right here. Guys, get your minds out of the gutter. All right, 
it's just don't don't go there um <laughs> oh with that with that out of the way let's Ooh, that's a great reminder i have stuff to donate to gunther we're gonna do that too today i think i first want to get this upgrade i'm excited for this when we first moved here we had a had to rough it out in the trailer until i could get the house finished Demetrius had a separate trailer for his lab. I don't know if... I wonder if she prefers it that way. Him having his lab outside instead of built into the house. All right. Let's upgrade our house. 10,000 gold and 450 pieces of wood. Yes, please. Thank you. We'll get started tomorrow. It should be finished in around three days. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so she starts tomorrow and then two days after that? Or... No. She does two days of work. I order it today. She works two days... So that'll be all of next step. I think that might work well with my whole needing to update mods between phases of house. I'm excited. I also have a lot of work to do now because of mod stuff. I have quite a complicated mod uh, that has just a lot of options to it that I need to configure properly for the new house upgrade. So it's not going to be your standard house upgrade. And if you really wanted to go through all of my mods, you could probably figure out which ones are used to do that. And actually, I have descriptions that say exactly which ones do that. But anyway, uh, what was I doing here? Do I need to do anything here? I need to donate geodes at some point. Um, I don't I think I need to donate all of them. Yeah, field research. Oh, no, all but the regular. So frozen magma and omni geodes. I really do need to get my mining back on, don't I? Ooh, we could donate copper bar. Hold on. Where are we at with that blacksmithing uh, bundle? Blacksmith bundle, we just need iron and copper bars, and that's completed. Geologist, ruby and diamond, and then bug meat. We're getting close on that one. And that's what? Mine carts, which would be super useful. So we can do that and then we can we're gonna make another trip to the community center today i really wasn't planning on this but here we are so and then we also need five uh for the die bundle which will why am i grabbing these i'm gonna have to put it all back anyway okay so we're close on the geologist we can do our ruby though that's exciting i mean is it that exciting no not really but that's pretty awesome also how did we end up with so much gold i don't know but it's 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 a good thing. Oh, take a look at our our little teeny itsy bitsy house, guys. Whenever it loads, there we go. This is gonna be so much so much better. I've got a different layout than the vanilla one. Clearly, I think I've hinted to that enough. Um, ooh, hold on. Our fairy roses are ready. Is our honey? I don't think our honey is in range. I think it goes up like three or something. We might move our. We might move those after they produce in 13 hours and leave the fairy rose there because I don't know if I really want to plant to get... Actually, we'll see. Holy lightning rods, guys. Everything is getting messed up. I don't I don't approve at all. Okay, we're going to make two trips real quick. And we need to head to Gunther's to donate a few items to the museum. And then after that, I want to hit up the community center and donate a couple things as well. Any little thing that we could do to make progress makes me feel good about ourselves. Not myself as like a person, but like this gameplay, this playthrough. Not this gameplay. Yeah, this playthrough and everything we're doing and making progress and we're staying on track to get the community center done and all that. It's just, it feels good. Every Wednesday, I have buckwheat waffles and coffee for breakfast. It's a little tradition I keep uh, to keep the bachelor life interesting. I how does eating the same thing on a consistent basis? No judgment there. I do that all the time. But how does that help keep things interesting? It keeps them safe and consistent. Not necessarily interesting, right? Maybe I'm reading too much into that. I don't know. Um, do I have anything? Penny, I don't think you like trash. Because that's really the only thing I have on me that's not giftable. And I don't want to give you a salmon berry, but... Books are good for a little escapism now and then. I think everyone needs some form of that. I agree. And for me, that's video games. I love video games, especially Stardew Valley. It's so chill and relaxing and just takes you to another place. I'm recording this on a Sunday, and it's a perfect, like, just Sunday chill play games kind of game. I love it. 
Hi, Jess. How are you? Did you know my big brother is basically a rock star? That's cute. He's totally not anywhere close to that. But the fact that Vincent thinks he is, that, that's just sweet. Okay. Gunther, give me, give me a crystallarium, please, sir. That'll help so much. Okay, I'm realizing all of the, um, the artifacts and stuff, they're all just the nasty, ugly, brownish, whitish grossness. Ooh, is that two rewards? <gasps> Treasure trove. What we get? Oh, I love that. Okay. Gwen, the uh, author of the Gwen's Medieval Craftables mod. They're totally not scarecrow looking, but that looks so cool. So instead of having scarecrows throughout your field, you can have... Like this one right here is perfect for our vineyard. Right? Put a scarecrow down to protect them, and it happens to look like a box of grapes that have been harvested and collected. Oh, it's it's so nice. Okay, where was I heading next? Community center? I'm getting so distracted by things. <laughs> That's a first, right? One place where I put my foot... Wait. One place where I put my foot down is with salmon. No other creature labors like they do to fulfill their purpose. How does that involve her putting her foot, foot down? Oh, that. If you catch one, I hope you'll toss it back. Um, Emily, I'm actually using them to help rebuild a building. Via the power of magical little... Apple people. That's what they look like. The good mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. The fall flowers are delicate, so don't go stomping on them. I don't know how you kids like to do. <laughs> Does anyone say that? How you kids like to do? What? I don't know anyone that talks like that. I don't know what you kids like to do. Maybe that's what she said and I just misread it. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and do our little item dump. And I, I feel like I need to revisit mining again and kill more of them bugs. Get that bug meat. Is there anywhere else to acquire bug? Yes. From, we need to progress the museum and get that sewer key. So we can get into the sewers and kill all those bugs. So we can get this bug meat taken care of. We're so close though. But this one is done. So let's see what we get here. My guess is... Ooh, if we got a crystallarium, we probably won't because it's blacksmiths. Please be more than furnaces. Five quality sprinklers. Heck yes, guys. Okay, this mod makes things way harder. But at the same time, the rewards are way better. I don't know what you normally get as a reward from that, but five kegs is an awesome reward. I don't know who... I don't care who you ask. It's freaking awesome. Uh, yams will be able to take care of. Starfruit, nope. Beets, nope. Man. I feel good about the community center, guys. It's going to be tough. We're going to cut it really close. There might even be a chance we get it done in two years. I'm really hoping there is, but I don't know. Time will tell. Anyway, um, there are some fish I still need to catch. And I'm sorry I'm doing so much fishing lately guys but it's gotta happen yeah i guess i'll be popping a frozen dinner into the microwave tonight there's nothing wrong with that i do frozen meals every so often i try not to do them too often but between you know working till five and then driving home and then speaking of driving home i go back to work tomorrow on monday as i record this tomorrow's monday I've been telecommuting, working from home for the past two months, but I go back to work, which is strange. It's going to be really nice, I think, but also really strange. You get used to things after two months of doing them. Habits get formed. Not bad habits, but I'm just used to it. I'm going to miss my zero second commute. Now it's going to be like 20, 30 minutes. That's less time in my day, you know? Anyway, I'm, I'm talking a lot. Let's get, um, let's get fishing. I don't even know what I need here. Um, but I, I'm going to catch hopefully some stuff. Oh, and then, you know, we'll probably cut it a little early tonight. I mentioned making more crab pots. And I also added on my notes um, to make some more uh, tappers. 
We don't necessarily need more stuff right now, but seeing as how it takes so long to get different uh, of the syrups and the pine tar and oak resin, all that stuff, I'm going to need a lot more kegs if I want to make the vineyard as nice as I'm wanting to make it. And also, you guys all know, kegs equal money. So the more... Oh, crap. Speaking of which, I'm currently not filling them. So yeah, definitely a good idea that we cut it a little early tonight. I'm thinking maybe nine. So that way we can go back and take care of some projects. Yeah, let's do that. I'll see you guys at nine. Okay, I was doing some thinking while fishing. I tend to do that, which is why I always have something to talk about as soon as I get done fishing, because that's all my mind does, is just wander and think about the farm and think about what we want to accomplish and all that kind of stuff. And in addition to making more tappers, I'm wanting to tap mostly oak trees, just so we can get some more oak resin to make more kegs. And I don't think we have a ton... What the heck? I wish that fog would fade out a little bit more gracefully. <laughs> Instead of just, nope, don't exist anymore. But yeah, I, I think the any oak trees we do have are kind of all over the place and honestly just a little bit inconvenient to get to. And then I know I'm going to do it. If I tap them now, I'm going to start wanting to do some projects and then they're going to be getting in my way. And then I'm going to want to move them and cut that tree down. And so I'm thinking we just end up planting some more oaks. I think that's the, the smart call. Um, I don't know if it actually is, but we'll find out. Uh, we can sell some of this stuff. I got uh, a rare disc. I don't know if that's a special um, rare item. Or not rare item. A special... What do you call it? Artifact? Because I know there's some that if you donate it, it triggers something particular. Uh, in that... Wow, I can't talk and organize at the same time. It triggers, like, if you donate the, the chicken statue thing, you get a chicken statue as a reward. I don't know if the rare disc is like that, but if it is, that's awesome. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that skeleton, but I do kind of want to go put this in our grape field and then also get something going. Actually, can we do cran... Do we do cranberries again? Do we do blueberries? Let's do blueberries. We've got 15 now. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Give me 15 of those, please. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm so good at navigating. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't need to put this over here. And I realize that. But I think having this just kind of like, I don't know, near our grapes would kind of just look cool. I mean, color's a little different, but it's not a big deal. It looks like it would be the grapes or blackberries of some sort. I love it. Also, hold on. I didn't... Apparently, I forgot to harvest things today. I'm just now realizing that I'm currently harvesting stuff at 11 at night. Oh my gosh. 315 each. That's so nice. That's so nice. Wait, didn't I grab... Oh, blueberries. Guys, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm slightly out of it today. I, I could not tell you why, but I just... My my mind is not able to think through this game properly. And I don't know why. Okay, uh, it's almost midnight. We haven't really done any of the things I said I wanted to do. Let's grab our bars. I know I'll need more copper bars. And dang, we need more coal too. Heck, we're going to use all of our coal. We are now officially out. Of coal. I hope I don't need iron bars for anything, because uh, I don't have those anymore. I actually 100% know I need them for crab pots. Um, tappers, though, are not that expensive. They're, what, two iron bars? Where are my... Oh, there they are. Crab pots. Oh, crap. There are three. <laughs> three iron bars. Okay, so we have a mining trip in our future. I could transmute and... Eh. Eh. I don't think I'm going to. I think instead I'm going to grab some wood. Crap, do I even have wood? I have a little bit, right? Yeah, okay. I used a lot of it for that house upgrade. I got a little bit left, but... Okay, so if I craft stuff, I can make some more tappers. I think I can make three more. That should be good for now. And I know I said I was going to plant some more, but we've got some perfect 
trees right here, which I don't see being in the way. One, two, three. And maybe I'll do three more and tap those three. Because I don't think I'm going to be coming over here anytime soon to do any building. This is all kind of long-term plans, which the animals are fine for now. That's eventually going to be... Oh, wait. I just made all these. So, maybe I will make some more. You know what? It's 1 a.m. Can I cut down a couple trees and get enough wood to make one more, maybe? Maybe two more? Probably not, but let's see what we can get done. Okay. Yeah, definitely not. Just from the energy perspective. So... One, two, three, four, five, six oak trees that are tapped. And then I know we have at least one or two uh, off the property to the right. So that'll be super, super de duper handy. And are we going to pass out? Possibly. Nah, we're fine. And then I think I have a chest inside. I don't want to put this skeleton anywhere. And honestly, I don't know where it would go. I do have a chest for all the furniture that I'm not using. Beautiful. Good night, Coda. Sleep well. Whew. Okay. Man, festival episodes, at least for me, I don't know what this is going to translate to in actual length of episode, but they're so much longer because time just freezes and, the, you know, a lot of stuff happens during that time, which takes time to record. So it's fun, though. I love the festivals in this game. Oh, and I'm just remembering, we have another festival that this game adds um when you have the animal husband husbandry mod installed oh gosh look at robin doing work and messing up my entire deck plan not entirely but um did i miss it does it not happen in oh i think i installed the mod in the middle of the season maybe that's why there should be an extra festival. And I don't know if it just doesn't show up here or or what. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Robin is in the works. Or in the works? Does that make any sense? She's working on our new house. And I'm excited for that because when we get it, it's, it's going to be so nice. And then by that time, hopefully we're... I, I need to give some more stuff to Penny. But hopefully by then, we're all friendly and stuff. So friendly that she's will say yes if with if and when I ask her to marry me. I say if and when. When I ask her to marry me, because that's one hundred percent gonna happen. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you want to see anything specific moving forward, let me know. I feel like I, I didn't do much today and I don't know why that is. But we did the fair, we got stuff done that we needed to get done. It's just I feel like I need to be making progress on the farm every episode, and I, I can't always do that, and it kind of sucks. I wish I could, but maybe I'll find ways to do something each episode. I'm not, I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, that's enough of me talking. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Until then, as always, take care.